All right, I'm currently on a vacation. If you can guess where I am, uh, you get a cookie. Anyways, we're going to do some robot ratings here. And starting off with uh, 50922T, new meta. Let's watch the video. Um, Loki, it's pretty guys. Loki, it's, it's pretty fast. I think uh, I think it's actually, it's actually pretty solid in my opinion. I like it. Uh, what are these cubes? These cubes are like, these are like 3D printed ones. Like these are this is really fast for 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 a chain uh for tracks i thought well, tracks would not be as fast but um uh, you know if you have proper compression especially on the back right they have a compressionable uh ramp that it runs on which is using these rubber bands it works extremely well so actually pretty nice i like it i'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight tier all right then we have a drivetrain here drivetrain build uh not too bad the old wheels I don't really like though, but I mean if you don't have access to the new ones, that's alright. It's been many years since those have been uh, in, produ uh, in production, I think. Um, but it moves pretty pa fast. Um, I don't know if, if that side plate's in size per se, but if it is, then that's nice. I'm going to give this one a, uh, a C tier, because I don't think that, that side plate's in size. Is this meta? This is the... Uh, push. This is the the pushback. Oh, I was gonna say this is the pushback here, Bob, but no, it's uh, he should do a screw joint on the bottom there instead of having that bendable aluminum or steel piece. That is a uh, F tier automatically. Why wow, is crazy that you're you're running such an ab abysmal uh setup there? Needs a ramp and front basket, but new meta question mark 900 roll RPM roller, 600 RPM intake counter roller setup here, which. Uh, he's using a, a poly piece to show us the the speed. It's all right. Um, let's see. It's all right. It's all right. So what's what's going on here? Are they? Is it gonna have a so so going under would be it's it's like basket hoarding. I guess I'm guessing right. And then going above is it's is it's regular scoring. That's weird. I don't know. I don't like it th that much if it's that because that's what it looks like. Because they're making it go above, which looks like it's how it's uh so front basket okay it's a front basket all right um that, that, that's all right i'm still gonna give it a beats here 355 u which is a uh, pretty nice robot actually i like this one um it's able to outtake all the blo blocks back out and spit it back out wait no this is color sorting this is color sorting it's very nice wait so is, are they sorting which one are they sorting? They're sorting the blue ones out and they're shooting no never mind they're not they're not they're just Maybe they are. I think I mean, a lot of red ones, came, well, red ones came in, but many or little, very little blue ones went in. So I'm guessing it's a color sorting, but it's not like pretty. It's not as good as uh, as they wish it could be. But I'm gonna give this one an S tier. Pretty nice. Rate the new version of the CAD. Added the double indexer mech so that there is a indexer with the the basket as well. This will help move the balls more uniformly. Shown in the first picture, there will be small. It'll be a small curved poly piece at the bottom to push the balls upward. The hood location is catted just so. I didn't need to cat that curved poly ramp like string theory. Basket will be mesh. Okay, so I'm guessing they're doing a, a two, a, a kind of a, are they doing a string theory? Okay, so it's going to be some kind of, kind of dual sided, uh, in like top piece there which is pretty nice to hit both directions i mean honestly pretty nice nothing really to say i'm gonna do this on an eight tier we're right in two weeks uh this one's pretty cool 36 to 48 uh gear dt 600 drive one motor low intake and one motor high intake scores decently can hold up to five blocks though which is pretty low i think i mean it's not that bad for early season uh, has middle hood for scoring on the middle goal one piston tongue mech okay so let's take a look further in detail mm, uh what's this for like this this piece here i am not entirely sure to be honest is this for scoring on like a, a middle goal like comes out out here that's weird uh i don't know if i like that a lot but i mean if it works it works battery placement it's all right it's like it's okay um i feel like i feel like i would get a little scared of that battery placement but if it's if it's fine it's fine uh 
Oh, I don't like. I don't really like this. Where if this chain skips at all, your intake won't work because this is just. This is not like. It's not connect. Like so, I would suggest extending this out a little bit and then connecting this piece, this bracket, to here and then connect this piece here. So two different bracket connections rather than just one that goes across the whole thing. That's the one thing I don't really like on this. Other than that, um, it's pretty solid. I like how you bent your your standoffs. And uh, nice scuffs too. Drive train setup, it's all right. Uh, I mean, I guess you didn't have all high strength gear or all low strength gears, but that, that's good. If you don't have, uh, may maybe it's because he doesn't know how to, how to drill. So if you want to use uh, low strength gears as the as the uh, like free spinning uh, low friction gears, you can just take a drill and just drill straight through the low strength gear. Right, make sure to drill in the middle and make sure to drill it straight down so it doesn't deform to the side. But it's pretty easy. Just drill straight through, the, straight down, and then you can just run your your low strength gears as your uh, like connecting gears, which don't get powered. And those are really really nice, really really low friction as well. So that's kind of a, a small tip. And other than that, pretty nice. I'm gonna give this one an A tier. Uh, gonna add pistonized doinker for loading. Sorry. It's very very hot here very hot in this location um and if you're guessing uh, i'm next to the beach here the beach is right there so that's a uh, it's pretty cool but anyways uh, if you're wondering i am not hawaii so if you guys hawaii you're incorrect all right let's let's keep going here um to be honest this one's not too great um i'm kind of wasting my vacation time looking at this right now to not gonna lie it's first thing like, I mean, your intake is, is, is kind of intaking. I don't really expect a lot of good intakes early season, but at least make your drivetrain presentable, right? This drivetrain is not presentable at all. First of all, like, it's not it's not connected. Like, what are you doing? What is the C-Channel doing? There's no point of this being here anymore. Uh, or, no, sorry, it is connected. There's a standoff here. That's it. That That's the one. It's like the one single thing just holding this whole thing together. There's a standoff here. Uh, just come on. Come on, man. Just learn how to build a drivetrain. Uh, so I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's, that's what you mean. Anyways... Um, there's a lot of drivetrain tutorial videos online, and there's a ton of CAD and free res resources for you to look at. So I would advise uh, kind of structuring your drivetrain with like how a lot of the other teams have done it with screw joints, six motor drive, and of course with just really strong chassis supports because that's kind of how your entire robot is built on, right? Imagine this. Imagine you have a building and then your your supports are all built on clay it's gonna fall like you no matter how well you built the top of the building the whole thing is gonna collapse or it's just gonna like cave in or whatever same thing with your robot if you don't have your chassis built right your robot's gonna collapse and you're cooked so this one's getting an f tier sorry not really how do i fix friction drive train the friction drive train let's see so that side's pretty good this side's pretty bad so let's talk about fixing friction so first off check if these things these wheels are hitting these uh drivetrain parts i don't really think so right uh just make sure though and then check if these screw joints are too tight a lot of times people make their screw joints too tight and kind of the screws are com or the nuts are compressing the wheel against the other side and it causes a lot of friction right also check if your, your gears are hitting the wheels like on here if this part of this 48 teeth is or 36 teeth is hitting the 48 teeth on the corner on the side of it so that's a, another thing to look out for one more thing um is to check uh just check overall alignment right uh use if you want to use nut retainers if possible make sure that it's actually squared or it's actually parallel and also it's like kind of the right direct right, right place so then it's not causing extra friction uh, that's about it i'm guess I'm, i guess a lot of people did help you though so i'm gonna i'm gonna just not rate this one Echo from 1744X, um, and here's here's the robot. Okay, looks looks pretty nice. I like the I like the front layer, especially the the screw joint front layer. I think I was we were, I was hyping it up, and then I realized, hey, it's gonna have a lot of friction. But people proved me wrong. They were like, hey, it doesn't actually have that bad of friction. We can use it just fine, which is really nice, right? Because then you don't really need a a match load mechanism to put down every time you want to go match load. You just ram into it, and then just kind of take the balls out, right? So that's really nice, and you know, uh, nice build, honestly. They have a they have a hoarding station. I'm guessing right here. It looks like it kind of comes up here and goes to this hoarding station. One thing I don't know is the the bottom stage flex wheels. That's kind of strange. I feel like that's a little bit, a little bit overcomplicating the whole packaging here. But 
I'm going to give it an A tier nevertheless. And that's going to draw for today. Thank you guys.